Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So today's show is going to be about asking a question, answering a question that a viewer subscriber asked me by the name of Outdoor Smokesman802 about do I, so here's the question, do you custom, do you do custom art? Because I like to, like a little dread, dreaded alien kind of like the alien on your shirt. But I also understand if it's just creative art, not request. <laughs> um, yes, I do. I do commissions. I definitely do. The way that you could contact me through finding out how to get a commission piece of artwork from me is through uh, email. You can email me, and I'll put the email addresses in the description below. You can email me at uh, scarydolllady at gmail.com, or you can email me at blacknails31 at yahoo.com. And both of those emails, um, I, I can, you know, talk to you further in detail about how the commission, commission art works and how much I charge for it and all that great stuff. So yes, I do. I've done commission pieces in the past and um, I've greatly enjoyed them. Uh, I've learned a lot from the commission pieces and um, I would really... I definitely welcome the opportunity to do a commission piece for you. Um, <clears throat> just have an idea of what it is that you want. Also have an idea of what kind of artwork that I create. Check out my past uh, videos on this channel and my Dark Moon Doll channel. And you can go to my Instagram, which I'll have a link for in the description below, of some of the art pieces that I make. So you get an idea generally of what kind of art that I do. Um, I like to share my artwork with you guys on this channel um, to inspire you guys to create, to be a creative being on this planet. And I really feel glad that some of you people, some of the people that have been watching, have taken upon themselves to do some creative work. And especially incorporating upcycled and recycled fabrics and materials into your artwork. Um, I've had people mail me fabric so that I create, could create some art from it. And I've also had people uh, show me their creative work that they made through using recycled and upcycled fabrics and materials. So um, I really feel fortunate enough to be able to um, create what I create and to a lot of times give away what I create. Um, when I sell things on my Etsy shop, which I have a big sale going on right now, probably want to check, take uh, advantage of that. A lot of my handbags and purses are more than half off now so go check out my Etsy shop it's going to be a sale going on until the day after Christmas so um, just want to put that in there too I'll have a link for my Etsy shop in the description below but yeah I do indeed do commission pieces um, just have an idea of what it is that you want and uh, present it to me and I'll see if I can make it happen <laughs> So before we go any further, I'm going to clear out my bowl. I've been smoking on this strain called Animal Cookies. And uh, it's a strain I recently received through my medical cannabis dispensary delivery service. Um, very good. So check out the strain review. I'll be loading that strain review up before this video. So definitely check it out. And to um, Outdoor Smokesman802, thanks for the question. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so the answer is yes, I do. <laughs> I do. And I'll show you some of the artwork, too, that I have. Um, that I've been trying to uh, trying to sell to no avail. <laughs> but, um, yeah. There's somebody talking. Okay, <laughs> I thought somebody out there is talking and I needed to start what I was doing. But yeah, um, I have a lot of artwork that I have for sale. I have a lot of artwork that is on my Etsy. Some of it is not on my Etsy because it's expired. So I'll show you some of the artwork that I'd like to sell. Um, and if you're interested in it, you can purchase that via just through me, straight from me and not on my Etsy shop. 
Um, if it's easier to, to do it through Etsy, then that's, that'll be cool. It has been because I just operate through my phone. And recently, my phone bill, uh, I have to pay that. And we've been running short this month. And um, that's how I end up loading up my, my artwork is through the pictures on my phone straight to Etsy. And my phone is, uh, yeah, due. So uh, it'll be a while before I can put... Um, I guess get some some photos listed so that I can post, you know, more more new artwork. So um, yeah, until then, I have to make some sales and I can pay my bill, <laughs> pay my phone bill. That's how it is. I mean, people ask me, well, as this looks like you enjoy creating your artwork and having fun making it. I do. I enjoy it every single step of the way. But I don't want to keep all of my artwork. <laughs> There is such a thing as an artist that does sell their artwork. And some people, some artists think that, that you should accept money for your art. I think poppycock, okay? <laughs> if you want to sell your artwork and receive money for it, you should. So there's no big deal in that. And the money that I make from this, from the sales that I get off of my Etsy shop, goes towards, you know, helping with food, put food on the table, helping to keep the lights on, helping to keep my cell phone bill paid helping with uh, regular everyday things that help help with uh, the family, the household. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I do. I do sell my artwork, and I do give a lot of it away, like I said. So, take another puff. So I'm going to um, take a pause. I'll be right back because I want to grab a few of the handbags that, or at least, yeah, a few of the handbags that are no longer on sale on my Etsy and see if you guys would be interested in buying it outright just from me. So um, we could do it, set it up however you want to want to do it. You could send me a check through the mail if you want to do it old school like that. So, um, but I have to wait till the check clears before, <laughs> before I send off the art. So, um. However you want to do it, you can email me. Like I said, I have my email in the description below. So let me go grab those uh, few items that I want to sell off of my shop, outside of my Etsy shop, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I've got quite a few things I want to show you really quick. And um, I'm going to try to take some photos of all this stuff um, as best I can and load it up see if i can post it on instagram i don't know with my phone's capabilities but let me just show you what i got so i've got this one handmade purse that i made it's a dark angel type of uh design i used recycled fabrics hand sewn uh hand painted there's paintings on the other side a goddess figure on there so um it's a nice little uh, bag that you could put just about anything in. It's not, um, see how big it is. You could probably put your cell phone, your keys, uh, your wallet in there. Um, if you want it, you could put use it as a medicine bag, put your concentrates in there, uh, your dab tools in here, but it's not padded, so if you drop it, even if you have something fragile in there, it may break. But um, you can use it for that. You could use it as a medicine bag. You could use it as a little pouch to carry your stuff in and it's got little designs of like mushrooms on there too so that's one bag that I have for sale for you, if you guys are interested <clears throat> and then here's another one this Rasta woman keychain doll that I hand sewed hand embroidered from recycled fabrics um yeah and I was given this uh neck this when I was on a necklace a bracelet the bracelet didn't fit my wrist right so I just decided to adorn this little doll, Rasta doll keychain with it. So, yep. So that one's for sale. This right here is for sale. It's a recycled, upcycled uh, little handbag. Uh, there's no zipper on it, but it's fairly padded, but not completely padded. And I use the mesh from, uh, you know, the produce like oranges and lemons. I use a mesh on, on top of uh, recycled fabric, fabric that I painted skulls onto with acrylic paints. And this part right here is another part of that produce bag. 
Um, so all recycled fabrics, all hand sewn. So yeah, this could be used as a medicine bag if you want. <laughs> so um, and then here we got this one. This one I'm really proud of. Kind of like a psychedelic skull and candy purse with the uh, Day of the Dead, uh, paper beaded, no, it's not paper beaded, paper, um, paper clay doll on there, paper clay doll witch, the candy cane and everything, so this one is for sale, and if you're interested, it has a zipper on top too, so this one actually does have a zipper, when I have zippers, I, I use them, if I get any zippers, I use them, I like to get zippers, uh, people were asking if they could send me recycled fabrics or anything like that. If you want, you can send me some zippers. <laughs> so if, if you're interested in sending me fabric and zippers and all that kind of stuff, um, just contact me via my email address, which will be in the description below. So, so yeah, all hand beaded. All the beads were made by me, sculpted by me. The, the skulls and everything on it, all handmade. So hand sewn. So. And we got here, this one I like a lot. I like all of them, actually, but this one I really like a lot. Because I have a fascination with conjoined twins. So I've only seen conjoined twins once up close. So this is a conjoined twin purse. Uh, two is a conjoined twin on each side, conjoined twin witch on each side. Um, the handle was made from recycled fabrics. All the whole bag was made from recycled fabrics and materials. Um, a lot of embroidery going on to hand embroidery. So this was hand sewn from start to finish. There's a zipper on the top of the bag. So, and it's uh, it's lined on the inside. So it'll be a little bit more padded too because um, <laughs> my hair is falling down. It'll be a lot more padded because of the dolls on the outside, the, the cushiness of the dolls on the outside of the bag. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this bag, please let me know in the comment and in the comment section below by emailing me, as I said. So that's another one that I've done. I've been doing that for quite a while, incorporating dolls into my handbags when um, <clears throat> sometimes when I feel like well, this one doll doesn't seem like it's selling, so I'll put on a handbag. And it seems like people like that having functional art. So, so here's another thing that I'm going to have available outside of my Etsy shop for sale. Is this doll. It's a two-sided doll. For quite a while I've been doing two-sided dolls. And it was inspired by uh, my husband that gave me the idea for a two-sided doll. One day I was creating a doll and I didn't have hair for the other side for the back of the head she so said just make it a two-sided doll so that's what I did and uh, not all of my dolls are two-sided but a lot of them are so two dolls two personalities voila it's hand painted um, hand sewn uh, and I put a coating of Mod Podge on both sides so that seals in the paint on it so if you're interested in this doll let me know and get in contact with me and to work out a deal. So one last thing I want to show you guys, because I got too much that I can show probably in one show. Um, show, show, show. But let me take a little breather and have some herb. I hope this has given you some ideas too of your own, not to copy me, but to create something uh, original yourself. You know, gives you some ideas, gets the creative juices flowing. So cheers everyone and, and cheers to cannabis and creativity. Cool. <coughs> so let's see. So the last thing I want to show you is some of the stash jars I have available. that are no longer, they've expired on my Etsy shop. The listings have expired. So that's why I figured since the listings have expired on my Etsy shop, I'm going to see if, if anybody here would be interested in purchasing them through me. So you don't have to get an Etsy account or anything like that. You can just purchase it right through me. So here's the stash jars. Here's one of them, Christmas themed. 
you can use it all year round though really I mean that just the red and white brings a very cheerful atmosphere to your home <laughs> red white and black but yeah I had so much fun making this is paper mache stash jar um, clean inside clear it's just paper mache on the outside I've listed these uh, several times and I also have um, posted photos of this on my Facebook and my Instagram so you can see photos even closer up on my Instagram and Facebook so um, yeah and also on my Twitter as well so I'll try to put all those links in the description below so you can check out better photos of the stash jars you could put your herb in here you could put Christmas cookies in here. you could put candy canes in here you could put pens paint you know pens paint brushes Whatever you want to put in these, you can put in them, but it seals up, so that means you could put something in there that may be perishable and seal it up inside of there. I don't, ex I don't uh, suggest you submerge these in water or wash them out in water. Just spot, spot uh, clean them. If you're gonna clean the inside of it. Just swab, you know, clean out the inside, but don't like submerge it in water or anything like that. But it's kind of, you know, common sense, but you know. <laughs> So that's one of the stash jars. <clears throat> Whoops. And uh, here's another one that I really enjoyed doing. I enjoyed making all of them. But some of them I really went to town on, like this one right here. Psychedelic stash jar. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> So yeah, and like I said, you just you could just put your stuff in there, your herb in there, and there you go. If you wanted to hide that you, you're a smoker, you could put your dabbing tools in there and just close it up. Nobody needs to know what's in there. So yeah. Yep. So that's another one that's for sale. You can contact me about. Um, I'll show you one last more, one more. I do have more, but I only have so much time, like I said. Yeah, I can okay, so I have this one right here. It's a real chicken bone, and I basically paper mache it and added some like uh, really thick thread on, not thread, really thick um, yarn on top, and um, paper mache that and. And there you go. So keep it away from your dog. <laughs> but yeah, you can open it up and see nothing in there. Nice and clean. Throw your herb in there. Good to go. So that's another one. And I'll just show you one more and then that'll be it. Because this is, this is a lot in itself. <laughs> I've got another video I still want to put up. Um, so yeah, here's uh, the fairy inspired. Um, mushroom protection uh, stash jar. You can even use it as an altar jar if you want it to. So, yeah, nothing in it. Nice and clean. Because it's paper mache on the outside. Uh, I hand painted it. Uh, put a mini uh, coatings of Mod Podge on it so that the painting will stay intact and won't chip off easily. So, there we go. So yeah, um, definitely contact me via my email addresses that I provide in the description below. And then, um, yeah, you can see which item you'd be interested in purchasing. And with each item you purchase, you get a free handmade gift. So be happy about that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to show you all the stash jars that I have available that are on my Etsy, but... Um, if you want to see more stash jars that I have available that are on my Etsy shop, feel free to contact me. Let me get a little closer here. I'm not far away. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you uh, enjoyed this this show. I hope I answered your question. Yes, I do. I do take commission work. Uh, just email me and just and find the link in the description below for my email address, and we'll talk specifics and details about commission pieces and how I price it, you know, how, how the pricing goes on with that, so. Mm. Alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me today.
Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you do anything creative. And um, also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can donate to my PayPal at kdaddytmomentcomcast.net. I don't know if that's going really well, the PayPal. So I'm going to put my Google Pay in there too. So you, if that Google Pay, if the kdaddytmom doesn't work for PayPal, you can use Google Pay. So. With that said, <laughs> Brez blessings to you all. Have a happy, happy holiday, and I'll try to see you soon, as soon as I get my phone paid. <laughs> Alrighty, guys.